Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to update your PlayStation 4 so you don't get the CE 3002 5 year on your PlayStation 4. So let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. So the CE 3002-5 error is a error that you're getting when you're trying to update your PlayStation 4 and somehow you're not able to update it. Well, good news, there's an easy workaround for this. So on the home screen of your PlayStation 4, if you do have anything under the notifications menu for the update, we're going to want to go ahead and delete that before we go ahead and put our PlayStation 4 into safe mode. So under notifications, go ahead and select it. And then if you see an update right here, Go ahead and delete it by pressing options on your controller and then going to delete on the side here. And then go ahead and select it and then go to delete. Alright, so now that the update is deleted from the notifications menu, we're going to want to go ahead and put our PlayStation 4 into safe mode. So how do we do that? Go ahead and hold down the PlayStation button on your controller and pop open the quick menu. Then scroll down to power and then go over to turn off. Don't go to enter rest mode. You want your PlayStation 4 100% off. So no lights on the front of the PlayStation should be displayed. All right, so now that our PlayStation 4 is completely turned off, go ahead and press the power button and hold it down. And hold it down for about seven to 10 seconds. You'll hear another beep. Then let go of your PlayStation 4's power button and it should be launching into safe mode right now. Okay, so to begin, we will want a USB to micro USB cable plugged into our PlayStation 4 and our PS4 controller to be able to operate the menu in the PlayStation 4 safe mode. So you won't be able to use your controller wirelessly, essentially. So now that you're connected with the USB, go ahead and press the PlayStation button on the controller and then go down to option number three update system software go ahead and select that option and then go to update using internet now you can go ahead and update your playstation 4 from a usb storage device and if you want to learn how to do that go ahead and look in my description down below i'll have my video for that down there so if you're on able to connect an internet that's a good option now let's go ahead and go to update using internet and select X and it's going to go ahead and start downloading the latest version of the PlayStation 4 system software right now. And if you're still having this problem after updating your PlayStation 4, if you go back to the main safe mode menu and then go to the option that says rebuild PlayStation 4 database, go ahead and try doing that. So if this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below and check out some of the other amazing tech help tips coming up next on Your Sick Studios.